All right, hello guys. Um, today's gonna be a little tutorial on how to get uh, your Frostwire music to automatically go into iTunes library. All right, now I am running on iTunes 10.1.0.56, if that even matters, and I'm running Frostwire version 4.21.1. So more than likely this will work um, in any later updates but I we'll just have to see when that comes alright so what you're going to want to do is open up Frostwire go to tools and this is for Windows I'm on, I'm on Windows 7 right now uh, let's see here computer properties Windows 7 alright ultimate so I mean, this would have to work on Vista and XP just because, like, you're running the same exact program. It doesn't really matter what operating system. Uh, if you're on Mac, I hear that Mac that uh, actually like, just, like, works. There's a options. I mean, in options, there's a button right underneath iTunes. It says uh, automatically import. There's, like, an actual button, and then you just press that, and it actually works. So, but on, on a Windows, you know, it's got to be more complicated than that, of course. So... Uh, I'll do this again for you guys in case you missed it. You're gonna want to open up Frostwire, okay? So I have it right there, but it's already open. Open up Frostwire, let it uh, connect. I guess it doesn't really matter, but go to Tools, Options. Uh, you are you are gonna need to change this folder in a couple minutes, but just uh, if that's not what it says right there, then just let it go. Uh, just trust me on that. And then you're gonna want to go to iTunes, the iTunes tab. And then, like, maximize it. Go to sharing. And then this is just my name. And then it says, like, apostrophe S Frostwire. Because that's just what I named it. You can name it whatever you want. And make sure this little box right here is checked. Because I'm pretty sure it's what makes this all work. You can do a password. Uh, I'm just, it's just my computer right here. So I guess I don't need it. And buffering size. Just, I don't know what the hell that means. But just do whatever you want. Prick, click, prick, wow. Click apply and then prick, uh, oh my god, and then prick, okay. okay. Wow. Sorry, okay. Click apply and then okay. Okay, and then we're gonna wanna go to the Windows, like, computer. I guess you could say, like, your hard drive. So go to the Windows button, computer. I have the, uh, arrow, but you just probably wanna click on computer. And then uh, go to the one that says your local hard drive. Then go to program files. Oh my god, actually no. You're going to want to go to... Where is it at here? Just like, go to your documents, okay? That's where the other thing was lied in program files. But go to your documents. Find the folder that's called... Frostwire, all right, uh, and then go to where it says saved. Go to Frostwire, saved, and then go to where it says automatically add to iTunes. Okay, you're gonna have all these um, from things that you downloaded, but if you, I can guarantee you have this folder. Okay. Now, if you don't, just leave a comment, and then I will help you out. But if so, um, just, you know, you'll have that folder, okay? So, like, so if you are smart enough to realize this, automatically add to iTunes. Hey, there you go, right? So then we're going to go into here, and now we have to change our directory where we're going to save all of our, like, music and stuff. So that's where I said I was going to change this. So we're going to go to Browse, and I will go, like from like start to finish with you guys all right there's a little probably going to be a little tab over here called my documents and i press my documents gonna go down to frostwire this is just what we did guys but just in case you need to know uh saved automatically add to itunes just uh let me see here should i click it you can either click it or you can um double click or wait let me see open it Okay, that that's not gonna change either way. So, uh, file of all types, I guess all folders, whatever. Press select, and this should be changed now to automatically add to iTunes. Click apply. Okay, 
And as you see, I just downloaded. If you saw a little bit back in the video, I had a little notification up here that said the song was complete. So let's go to iTunes. And as you see, this is the last song I put in. But if I scroll up a little bit, right there. Um, there's a song right there, Mas Quay, Q Quay, Nada. Um, same one directly from here. Let me show you. Oh, Jesus. Hold up. Frost wires being a little bit not cool. Right there, Mas Quay, Nada, Sergio Mendez, Black Eyed Peas. And then Mas Quay, Nada featuring Sergio Mendez and then artist Black Eyed Peas. And they all fully work. I don't know if you can hear that, but... Uh, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Have any problems, let me know. And, uh... Yeah, so... That was pretty much the easiest way I found out. And I just figured this out like 10 minutes ago, guys. So, it's not like this information's been being withheld from you guys. So, yeah, just uh, just have fun. And we'll see you later.